Let's look at how to construct a binomial tree when we're given the volatility. So the question reads, calculate u, d, and p when a binomial tree is constructed to value an option on a stock, which is currently valued at $100. The tree step size is one month, the risk-free rate is 5% per year, and the volatility is 12% per year. So normally, we start with the current value of the stock in the binomial tree. So in this case, it's $100. And then we go up or down. Normally, in order to find out the value of the stock price when it's gone up or down, they give us a percentage. For example, they say in one state, stock price goes up by 20%, the other state goes down by 10%. Here, on the other hand, they give us the volatility. So we're going to use this in order to find out U and D. So let's write down what we know. We know that the volatility, which is given by this letter, sigma, is 12%. The risk-free rate is 5%. And then it says the tree step size is one month. So the tree step size is denoted by this. And then because the the time period of reference is always one year. This would be one over 12. Okay, because there's 12 months in a year. Therefore, the tree step size of one month is going to be one over 12. Okay, now as you can see, on the right hand side, we have the formulas for U and D given the volatility. So as you can see, all we need is the volatility and the tree step size in order to find out these values. Remember the definition of U. U is the magnitude of an upjump, so by how much stock price goes up. And D is the magnitude of a downjump, so by how much the stock price goes down. So let's use these formulas. U is equal to E to the power of, so sigma, the volatility, in decimal places, it's 0.12 times the square root of the tree step size, which is one over 12. And if we plug this, if we plug this into the calculator, we should get that u is equal to 1.035. We do the same for d. Formula is exactly the same, but there's a minus sigma instead. So this would give us e to the power of minus 0 0.12 times the square root of one over 12. And this gives us 0 0.966. So these are the values for U and D. Okay. So if we were to calculate the stock prices for the for when it rises in the high state, we would do $100 times U, which is 1.035, which would give us $103.5. In the bad state, when it goes down, we would do $100 times D, which is 0 0.966, which gives us $96.6. Okay, so here we have our one step binomial tree constructed. And the last thing to do is to calculate P, the probability, which is basically the probability of the stock price going up. So here we have the formula. And again, for this, we needed the risk free rate, R, the time period, and then D and U, which we have everything, which we have. So let's plug this in. So P is equal to E to the power of the risk free rate in decimal places, which is 0 0.05 times one over 12 minus D, which we said is 0 0.966 over U minus D minus 0 0.966. If you plug this into the calculator, you should get that P is equal to 0 0.553. So P would be here, probability of the stock price going up, 0 0.553. And then one minus P would be down there, which would give us 0 0.4 Four seven. 
Excellent. And so this is how you build or construct a binomial tree given the volatility.